Hi, Timothy Unger here, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate sorting a structure array in C. I've included my header file, and I have my main function. So let's get going, and let's create a structure with the keyword struct, and then character uh, is what I'm going to call it. And uh, it's going to be following along with this supernatural theme that I've been going along with on this channel. Uh, so we have a first name, we have a character array within the struct, and we're also going to have a last name. Both of these will have 19 characters long, uh, not counting the null character at the end. And then we have an integer called age. Okay. And oops, I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of this. We have, we're going to create a character array. And so I'll do that by typing struct character and then the name of the array, which will be soup underscore character for supernatural character, my favorite TV show. Let's have three of those. Uh, I'm also going to create a character, uh, a struct um, called temp, but I'm going to need to sort the structure array. And I'm also going to create two integers, i and j. I'm going to use those for for loops. Okay. So with the first for loop, we're just going to get some information. So we're going to say for i equals 0, i is less than 3, and we increment i each time through the loop. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to print f um, what is the character's first name. Okay. And then we're going to do a scan f, and we're going to scan in the character array, and we're going to input it. Well, we're going to input the uh, character array into the structure array at uh, the index of i in the first name. Okay, that's the first character array. Next thing we want to do is we want to print f. Uh, what is the character's last name? Okay, and we're going to do another scan f. We're going to input into a character array, and we're going to, again, put it into the structure array at index i, and again, we're doing the last name. Okay, And then finally, we'll do a printf, and this is what I'm going to use for sort, is the character's age. What is the character's age. So we're going to ask that question. And then we're going to do another scan f here with um, an integer this time. And we're going to put our ampersand in front because it's not a character array. And we're going to scan into the structure array at index i and use the age variable in that character array. Okay. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort this information. So we're going to create a, well, a, a nested for loop. So a for loop within a for loop. And let's get started with that. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So we're going to say for i equals 0, i is less than 2. i increments up through the loop each time. Within that, we're going to have a for loop. And we're going to say for j equals 1, because we want j to be 1 higher. j is less than 3. And we increment j up each time through the loop. Okay. Within that for loop, we're going to say that uh, we're going to have an if statement. So we're going to say if the supernatural character structure array at index i, if the age variable on that is greater than the supernatural character structure array, array at index j, it's greater than that. That means the one before is greater. Uh, well, we want to go from lowest age to highest age. Well, so we're going to have to switch it around. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say temp uh, equals um, the structure array at index position i. Okay. And then we're going to say the structure array at index position i equals the structure array at index position j. 
and the uh, structure array at index position J now is going to, we're going to set that equal to the temp. Okay, so we're just going to switch them around. That's what we're doing. We're swapping them. Okay. Now, if we go down here, I'm going to do one last for loop and we're going to print out the structure array. So we're going to say for i equals zero, i is less than three. And we'll increment i up each time through the loop. Okay, um, we're going to do a print f and we'll say percentage s, percentage s for character arrays is percentage g for an integer years old slash in for a new line do a comma and then format this uh, and then we're going to do the supernatural character at position i dot uh, the first name then the supernatural character at position i but the last name which is just under under l underscore name and then the supernatural character at position i that structure array will do the age variable of that array okay and at the end of this we're simply going to return zero okay so i'm going to save that and let's compile it and run it all right so uh, i'm going to compile it uh, into just sorting structure underscore array. And we've got one little error. Okay, that's no big deal. At 38, so I think I spelled something wrong. So let's go up to 38. That should be not term, it should be temp. Okay, and we'll save that. And now let's reopen the terminal and recompile. Everything recompiles well now. And now let's run it. Okay, so now let's go through and test out our program. So what is the character's first name? Let's say Dean, last name, Winchester, age, 41. Character's first name, Sam, Winchester, age, 37. And then the next name is going to be uh, Bobby Singer. And let's do age, 61. All right, and we see even though we didn't enter Sam first, it prints out Sam first because his age is the, the lowest. And even though we entered Dean first, it prints out his age second because he's the highest. Now we could rerun this and we could put, uh, say, Castiel, uh, Angel, okay, character's age, uh, let's do 4 million. And character's first name, let's do Bobby Singer, do uh, 61. And then let's do Dean Winchester and do 41. And now you see it prints out Dean first because he's the youngest. Bobby's next and Castiel's the third one. So it does, it is sorting properly. So our program is working very well. I hope you found this video informational and entertaining. If you did, please, uh, could you please give me a like? That'd be really helpful. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. So have a great day.